What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another modern video with uh, a blue-black control list that was commissioned by uh, Scott H. Second time he's wanted me to play a blue-black control list. He's going to be at GP Vegas, wants to play some events. So he wants me to take a look at this deck and see if we can improve it any or uh, just to see how it does. If you guys want to have your own decks critiqued, check out my Twitch profile. Uh, you can find the link below in the description and uh, we can figure out how to do that. But uh, for now... We have a pretty standard blue-black control. Blue-black control in Modern is a deck that I always find myself gravitating towards, and it always end up, ends up doing really well. Uh, surprisingly well for how underrepresented it is in the metagame. Uh, so I would not be surprised if we did similarly well today. We have five one-mana discard spells, the full complement of Fatal Push, and a go for the throat. One Hero's Downfall, which is a nice addition. Uh, Damnation and Cryptic Command in the main. Jace the Mind Sculptor in the main. Tassiger. Vendillion Click and Snapcasters for some pressure. Uh, one Search for Escanto, which is the number I like. Uh, I actually don't like more than one snap Search because you just end up having to discard. I guess with three Lilianas, though, it might be fine here. But I still think one is fine. Uh, three Mana Leaks. One of my one of my favorite counter spells in Modern. I like actually getting rid of the spell. I'm not a big fan of Remand in a deck like this because this deck is trying to play the long game. And you're not really trying to out-tempo them. So like a, a card like Remand isn't as fitting. I really just want to get rid of their spell. If they play a Primeval Titan for six, I just want to counter it. I don't really want it to come back next turn. Uh, three Serum Visions. Two, two Thought Scour, which anyone who knows me knows I am not a huge Thought Scour fan. Um, it does enable certain things in this deck. We have Snapcasters to, to get back whatever we Thought Scour. We have Tassiger to, to delve it away. Um, but we can also put two cards on the top with Jace and then Thought Scour. So not terrible interactions. I'm just not a big fan of the card in general. Um, that might just be me, though. I wouldn't worry about that. Nihil Spell Bombs, Ceremonious Rejection, Surgical Extraction, Disdainful Stroke, Cast Down, a new addition from Dominaria in the sideboard. Uh, one more Go for the Throat, two Counter Squalls, which are probably just better than Negate in the, if you're, if you're able to cast it. A here, another Hero's Downfall, just in case you have some problematic Planeswalkers. Another Liliana, different one, though, Last Hope, which is just a nice three-mana Planeswalker. One Kalidus, which is great. Uh, I'm a big fan of Disdainful Stroke, so hopefully we can bring that in some. And uh, let's see how things go. 23 lands. Mm, a, little on the, a little on the low side, but it's modern. We got a lot of velocity. We got Serum Visions, Thought Scour, Search for Escanta. Got a bunch of cheap stuff, so I think I think you can survive on three lands uh, in this deck. Getting to four is great. Dan Omak, glad to hear it. Thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Oh, I will keep this hand. We're probably just going to go, I... Might just go Watery Grave here, and then we can go Drown Catacomb into... Yeah, let's just do Watery Grave here. We're going to take the four. Supreme Verdict and Nyssa. Ooh, I like this deck. I'm going to take the Nyssa because I don't care about Supreme Verdict. Hmm. Seems good. I mean, for, for us, not for them. <laughs> that was a weird face. Why did we make that face? I don't understand. Island seems good. All right. Uh, I'm going to pollute a Delta here just so we can uh, actually probably should have been flooded strand. So we can crack it and get a, a basic if we need to. If not, we can just get a watery grave. Next turn we can creeping tar pit. I, I do want to keep one fetch land in case we hit like a Jace and we want to shuffle away some cards. So... I'm going to run across the street and grab you a sandwich from the deli. Can I get anything? Uh, if they have Diet Mountain Dew, you can give me a Diet Mountain Dew. Hunter's a little mad in the background. Flooded Strand. All right. We'll just keep up Mana Leak here. It's 
So I have to assume they just drew infinite gas. All right, so they have three cards that we don't know about. I don't know what they're doing, though. I'm not seeing chat outside of the stream. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means, Fears Horse. All right, so we need to still have Flooded Grove in, in this, so that's pretty cool. I don't want you to have that. This is actually fine because next turn we can crack Flooded Strand and Fatal Push him. Oof. Oof. Oh boy. What do we do here? Just gonna get an island. <clears throat> I'm not gonna let them untap because if they did draw another counter spell, I don't feel like dealing with that. If they have counter spell, we know they have land, so if they have another mana leak, I don't want to have to pay for mana leak and then have them still be able to resolve a Jace. So Oh, they do have another counter spell. That's pretty good. Well, that's rough. Oh, they didn't have another counter spell. Mother of Snod. I mean, if they if they had a counter spell, they would have countered our our cryptic command one thousand percent. So, oof. Um, we'll put Island, go for the throat back. Play land. Serum Visions. Bottom both of these. We have six mana and we have an infinite. Yeah, I don't care about either of these. We have a Jace on top, on board. Yeah, we could have played Tasker there, but we have four Snapcasters, so I really... One, two, three, four. This wouldn't have been in here. I guess we could have kept Cryptic. Oh, Teferi. I like what's happening. All right, so we know the last card is Supreme Verdict. Well, this is... Yeah, this is pretty good. Um, two cards on top. One Inquisition. We're probably never going to need Inquisitions again. Uh, that deck is not updated. Let me update that real quick. Try to show some, some professionalism here. Now we got one, two, three. How much mana do we actually need? I'm gonna pay one more. All right, we updated the deck list. Uh, so we got, we're gonna go for the throat this guy. I will pay a black for that. Seems like better than not paying a black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I 
Oh, uh, it's definitely there's definitely times where it's right to fate seal card away. Like we could have fate sealed Tefri away, but like we knew they were going to draw it, and they wouldn't have enough mana to deal with mana leak. So there's just no benefit to that. I think they're dead now, but. Like, I just don't think anything they draw is, is better than us drawing an extra card every turn with Jace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus they have no pressure, so we don't actually have to take Jace up to, like, heal him. They're probably just going to Supreme Verdict here. No, they actually have a card. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's not even an explore, really, because you don't get to play an extra land. Because you didn't have one land, so you're in your two turns you're going to be playing one land. Six mana, what did you top deck here? Okay, we're doing it. This is these are just basically five mana cantrips that let you untap the five mana that you spent. Supreme verdict still okay. Oh, all right, now now we have an actual explorer. Here we go. Oh, interesting. I would not have expected that when I have like 17 power on board. And I'm probably just going to hear his downfall anyway, but maybe not. He wants to relive the experience of not doing anything. Ah, oh, the thrill of not doing anything. We're going to get rid of the damnation and... Uh, whatever other nonsense was up there. I mean, you can put them to three, which is, I mean, the game's basically over, I would imagine. Um, yeah, I don't care about a mana leak at this point. I do want to flip this. Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, activate. One, two, three, activate. Hmm. Let's see what we can hit here. I'll put these two back. One, two, three. We don't have enough to do everything. I'm pretty sure we're just going to heroes downfall you. What did I do? What? I tapped both of these. Okay. There we go. Try again. There we go. Yeah, so now if you Supreme Verdict, we still have uh <clears throat> We know you have Supreme Verdict in one other card. So We didn't I didn't actually go to Carmelita's. I wasn't feeling like it after our drafts yesterday, so I just ordered some pizza. Oh, alright, cool. That's the end. Alright, disdainful stroke definitely comes in. Against the <coughs> Time Warp Planeswalkers deck. <coughs> Same thing with Counter Squall. Let's take out the Damnations. I feel like Liliana could be good because they probably just don't have a good answer for her. Hero's Downfall comes in. Liliana comes in. We can probably take out Fatal Push. What if we end up killing Corsair of Kerfix? Take a Thought Scour. I'm just not a Thought Scour fan. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It feels like it does nothing when all my other cards do something. You know what I mean? 
And I think it's fine in the main deck. It's just, I think it's a very easy card to board out, though. Ryu, gotta start making up for the Lepore with an A instead of Breville on my two in castles. <laughs> I was drinking water. I went down the wrong pipe. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you. I think we can get past this. Sand seems fine. Sand is a little more aggressive than I'm, than I was, than I'm used to, but. <laughs> that was a good draw. Um, I'm gonna keep the uh, the flooded strand so I can crack it at my leisure in case I want to fatal push their courser of Kurfix, which they probably play now into a land. No, I also do want to hit a land. This is intriguing. Sure. I lied. I'd rather just... Because I don't want to have to use this now. I'd rather just uh, still keep it up, but we can mana leak if we want to. Well, I've played blue-black control decks. Like, it's not like I've never played a blue-black control deck before. Do I care about Little Snake Man? Interesting that they didn't play Nissa here. This is fine. <laughs> I'll just counter whatever you play. He said aggressively. That was very strange. Yeah, we V-click. Yeah, well, I mean, if we didn't V-click, that'd be really weird because we just passed with three mana up. One on top, one on bottom. Well, I'd rather V-click next turn to see what you put on top, but... That also means they can't snake. <laughs> they can't snake. <laughs> uh, Cryptic Command's probably what we're taking here. We can kill Nyssa. I don't care about your Serum Visions. Snapcaster's good, but you're not close to casting that. We took Cryptic, so we know this is your hand so far. I do like Mana Leak, Snapcaster, Mana Leak. Oh, interesting. They didn't crack their little, their little snake, man. Which is weird, because they drew the card that they wanted on the top anyway, so it wasn't like they were waiting to draw that. I mean, maybe they were trying to hit a land, but they can just get a land with this guy, so... I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, you had the you had a look at you. You had a flooded grove, a double flooded grove. Dubs groves. I don't want you to play this.
I don't really care about it, though. Like, you already have a land here. You already have five land. Plus, you play land for the turn. So, we can kill that with a fatal push. We're just going to push you into the garbage can. I like keeping that up more. Double Mana Leak seems good here. Triple Mana Leak seems better. Quadruple Mana Leak seems even better. <clears throat> Alright, so this one's gone. Was that the one you had in hand? Yeah, okay, cool. That one's gone too. Well, we know you have Time Warp, Snapcaster, and two other cards. Also notice something that isn't just prowess and combat tricks and pray for no removal. Solid strategy. Tempted to get rid of their Sun Petal Grove. Just for another colored mana. I feel like that benefits us. Plus they kept one on top, so they just get to shuffle it away. Thanks all your draft videos going forth to local FM and almost won the whole thing, but it turns out reading card text is a useful skill. Brian, that's awesome, dude. I'm so sorry that I didn't I, I didn't uh bequeath to you this the the uh the usefulness of, of reading your cards. That is I, I feel like that's my fault. Okay, so Cryptic Command Cryptic Command back again. I'll take i I'll take Snapcaster. <clears throat> I feel like of all the of all the knowledge I could impart to you, how to read your cards should have definitely been one of the things and I I messed up, man. Oh, Temple Garden. All right. So we know you have uh, time there's these three. What happens here? Did you change your mind? Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this yet. Is it going to be a time warp? Are we going to let's do the time warp again? We have so many mana leaks that I'd rather just you not have another turn. Plus, all you have is Cryptic Sakura Tribe Builder, so I'm not too concerned. Valdez, thank you so much, buddy. I actually am feeling a little better. I'm, we're getting there. I think I'm almost 100%. I'd probably say I'm like 97%. This Vendillion click is going to go all the way. Everything else is just flavor text. Mm, I'm not so sure. I feel like getting loud and scaring your opponent into scooping is is cause for getting evacuated from the store. Ejected from the store. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We're going to have to ask you to leave. But why? You're causing a ruckus.
Three turns. Three turns and we got it. Can't lose if you're not allowed in the store. Yeah, but what if because Cake says it three times, all alone, all alone, all alone, in their time of need? What if it's referring to all three fairies on the click? What if the card, what if the song is actually made for Vendillion Click? Oh, God. All right, you're five now. Oh, you're not? You're going to do something fancy? Oh, you fancy. Are you fancy? Are you going to cryptic command here? No. You know what? Sure. <laughs> I don't know what that... What in the earth? Return your return your own... Wouldn't it have been better to return like a land of mine? I have no idea what just happened. I couldn't... I could even like kill it in response and they couldn't have done anything. Is it because you're going to Supreme Verdict? That's good. Thank you. Squirrel Monger, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Salt Brew. Really appreciate the support. Hmm. Kyoriasa and Kyoriasa. Is that one of your cards is Sakura Tri Builder? So you're probably going to count. You're going to your cryptic command this. Yeah, like I had two crypt commands. Might as well, might as well burn one of them. Yeah, you got to crack your flooded strand first. No. You got it. You got nothing left. You're washed up, kid. <clears throat> Scrollmonger, thank you so much for saying so. Appreciate that. Why don't we have a cryptic command in our graveyard? Do we? No, that was last game. I had to look for the uh, the masterpiece cryptic command, which I like a lot. If you guys want to bequeath to me any of your... Uh, that's the second time I've used that word this stream. Bequeath count it too. Uh, any of your cryptic commands... Uh, that are masterpieces that you're just not using, I accept. I accept your offering. See, I want to put them in top deck mode, but on the other hand, like, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm actually just getting Inquisition here. Reason being that, like, no matter what they draw, we can't mana leak it. They, they're pretty much outside of the range of mana leak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They'll have nine mana, so they can play anything up to six. But the Sakura Tri Builder that they have in hand does actually hinder our our clock here. God, Mono Teferi is over here. Wow aggressive colonado is 
So I have no cards in hand, so basically just dead, right? I mean, they could block with this, but we'll just kill it, so. Yeah, we have a hero's downfall in hand. I don't know if you guys know that. He's going... Can't they activate Colony? Yeah, if they want to. I mean, I don't know what that does, but if you want to do it, go for it. Knock yourself out. I think there's a guy here to cut my grass. So, I'm going to have to go give him money at some point. And I'm going to have to, like, check the the quality of the work just, just forewarning i may have to stop in the middle of the the video and you guys can if you're on youtube you can just 1.5 it or whatever you kids do i will join Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Turn one Inquisition and turn two Search for Azkanta. Okay. I do. I got to check the lay of the land. Nicely, nicely magic there. I don't even know what a flavored tortilla is. He's also going to do gutter work so I can hear him on the roof right now. At least I assume that's him. Otherwise, it's robbers. Oh, I see. So we take one extra damage if we leave the Goblin Guide. <clears throat> and then they get to play Monastery Swiss Spear um, and attack us for one. But we do get the chance to draw a land. So I'm actually going to get rid of Swift Spear here. I will take one extra damage. Well, if I can throw a flavor, 30 is a 30 with flavor. Wow. 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 That's how I feel about flavored tortillas. Goblin Guide. Didn't hit a land. Okay. Well, we get one more shot. Oh, they drew a land. What is this? Rift Bolt and... Double Rift Bolt. Okay. <clears throat> Are we dead? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 12. No, we're not dead yet. <laughs> it's not good, though. I believe we're at what's known as 3. Yep. I don't actually think we have a way to... Uh... I don't know what this... I don't know what this face was for. Hmm, 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 hmm. Thirty-two for mimics. What are mimics? Yep. It's only a matter of time now. <clears throat> Metallic mimic is thirty-two dollars. No way, dude. Actually, no way. I think we got a game. <laughs> this is a gamble because we can see what they like. If they if they have the, the the kill and they're just slow rolling it, we were tapped out. I don't know why you even do this. We weren't. Oh yeah, we tapped out. Why would you? Just, I, I don't understand. 
why would you not just kill us there? Why are you going to be that person in this, in the, I don't understand you. I don't think we have enough cards to bring in, unfortunately. Surgical actually might not be bad, depending on what they have. The problem is we like if okay so the problem is our logic is that they have nothing or else they would have just killed us because we were tapped out. That's the that's the that's the smart thing to do I I feel like. Um so we can assume they have nothing. We have to play a Jace because otherwise we don't have anything. So next turn if we leave Cryptic Command up, they can just draw their card and pass. And now we have nothing still. But now if we tap out for anything, they can kill us in response because they have the extra card to do it. Now they might have a lightning bolt. Now they might have a rift bolt, whatever. So <clears throat> basically uh, we played Jace there because it was the, mo the most likely time where we could get away with it and then also mitigate what their top card would be. Um, whereas like if we just kept Cryptic Command up, the burn deck when we're at three has no incentive to play anything until we tap out. It's The onus is on us to tap out. So if we don't, ever tap out then we just don't get to play anything and eventually they'll just play two burn spells and kill us like having a jace on the board actually it, it, you're not you're not playing to win at, the, at that point if you don't play jace you're playing just to like have extra turns where you don't do anything I'm going to bring in Surgicals because I actually don't care about Thought Scour, and I think Surgical could be actively better. What's up, Gabriel? Yeah, we're just going to get a swamp here. We're not maniacs. This is a weird play, but I want to see what they have so we can play around it better. Plus, they could have two Monastery Sorcerers in hand. Who knows? I hope that the, because they're pausing, uh, it means they do have multiple Monastery Sorcerers. None. Okay. <clears throat> Rift Bolt, Rift Bolt, Skull Crack, Eidolon. I don't think this gets saved, so I'm going to have to save it myself. It might. I mean, they might have changed it, but I'm not going to take that risk. Oh, we didn't get the one in the graveyard. That That's going to come back to bite us when uh, when they play Grim Lava Mancer, I'm sure. <clears throat> Eidolon. And Inspiring Vantage. Sure. So now they have Rift Bolt, Rift Bolt, Skull Crack. Bloodstain Mire is gone. Rift Bolt. Hmm. 
The old triple rift bolt. Okay, seems good. So we need to have Arid Mesa and Skullcrack in hand. You're presumably getting rid of the Skullcrack. Or the, the Arid Mesa, rather. Mm-hmm. Might as well counter this one. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter which one you counter. So in your hand is Skullcrack and one other card. Make you discard. I'm sure you're not discarding the skull crack. And then we'll just keep up the counter squall. We're never going to be able to activate double creeping tarpid, so it's basically the same as a land here. I don't think we win this match, but we're going to try to put up a fight here. Hmm. <clears throat> so making them discard when they have two and we have like mana lake is almost the same as just countering whatever they play <clears throat> only we get to take up lily as well of course when they discard a land and we discard a mana lake it's worse but now who is now who is the burn deck all right, so now we can just play whatever we have each turn and uh, not really worry about it. You have to go at Lily, right? Otherwise, you just kill your Goblin Guide. Seems good. Got him. I mean, now Jace is susceptible to, to removal, but... I mean, they're in... Riftbolt to the face. Oh, I wonder if they meant to actually redirect to Jace. Um, No, you can have that. Not actually going to activate Liliana here. That's a it's a sor lava spikes a sorcerer, so they have to play it on their turn, which means we can go Snapcaster Counter Squall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game's over. It doesn't do anything. Like, this is a two-turn clock, so.
Yep. All right. There's no, I'm like, there's nothing you can cast that actually does anything. All right. Disdainful Stroke is bad. Cast Down is probably pretty good. They have Eidolons. They don't really have legendary creatures. I'll take out a Surgical for a Cast Down. Uh, I'm going to begin sideboarding. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Oh, all right, good. I'll submit my deck. Dalkery, I know it's Scott. I know who you are, Dalkery. Uh, we are 1 0 so far. We this is uh we're also in game three against the burn deck, so could go either way. <clears throat> I can hear the grass getting cut and it's glorious. Oh, after your hair appointment, eh? Hmm, well then. All right, well, I submitted, so I want to wonder if... Uh... This is a critique done by Dalkery in the chat right now. So, it's going pretty well. <clears throat> I have not felt like we were out of it at any point. Do blue and black decks have ways to gain life? Like, uh, Collective Brutality could be good. I could see Collective Brutality being added. <clears throat> That's a card I don't mind having against red decks. Kills your Goblin Guide and uh, gains us two. Or pulls a Burn Spell and, and gains us two. Both of those are pretty good. Alternatively, Moment of... Moment of Hunger? Moment of Craving is actually not terrible. I mean, it does two of the modes of... Uh, <clears throat> it's two of the modes of Collective Brutality without having to actually discard a card. So against Burn, like, could be one of your more reasonable options to not have to gain, not have to lose a million life. I would watch, but, you know, I gotta wash my hair. Yeah, I get it. I understand. I really hope it accepts our deck submission. I don't know why it wouldn't, but we've clearly gone to time here, so. Uh, the problem with one of, one of Crypt Incursion is that like, like, in that match, they had maybe two creatures in the graveyard. I guess six life is not terrible. Oh, man. Blowing off chores. <laughs> oh, and then going to the LGS later. But you did use the word, like, chagrin, so that's pretty good. I don't know what's going on here. All right, well, we're going to close and uh, make sure we're not losing again because of time. Because that would be sad. What up, Denmark? Did our match start? Did like our match start and like we were just literally sitting and sideboarding for like two minutes? Did Magic Online just crash? Is that what happened? Oh, okay. 
15 minutes to 20 minutes. Seems good. I guess we'll keep. We'll take a turn off. I mean, despite having, like, these lands are not great. Like, Creeping Tarpits come to play tapped. Polluted Delta deals us damage. Thoughtseize deals us damage. Oh, oh, how wonderful, how wonderful. Well, they're giving us lots of land here. Yeah, we're pretty much dead at this point. Well, they have two lands, so I guess that's something. Yeah. Oh, Boros Charm. That's cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We go to 3. Feels bad. A Targus Command would be even better. Oh, a Targus Command one time. No. It'd be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'd go to one. Hmm. Yep, that'll do. All right. Well, mono red, always a pleasure. Magic online crashing in the in the round. Oh, also always a pleasure. Pleasures all around. Have you seen Mr. Poverty? I have not. Oh man, the YouTube comments for that video were on point. Everyone was like, this guy's terrible. And I was like, yeah, you're right. This guy is pretty terrible. They're like, this is this is this guy is exactly what's wrong with the internet. And I was like, Yeah, maybe. Internet's a complicated place, man. Who knows? I will play first. I will not keep this hand. Okay. I accept. Do you use any beard oil bomb in that? Well, I do. You do use beard oil, actually. It's from a company called Can You Handlebar, I believe. Yeah, it is uh, Can You Handlebar... I believe it's called Devotion. Yeah, this is it. This is the beard oil I use for, for those curious. Uh, I'm going to put you on the bottom because we don't have one black, let alone... Or we, don't have, we don't have double black, so... <clears throat> We are going to Inquisition of Kozlik. Oh, I see. Jace Gideon Cryptic Command. Take your mana leak. They have one land? Huh. Intriguing. <laughs> wow. Well, we're just going to get a water grave, despite the fact that it takes a million damage, because we just want double black. God, 
God, we're going to go to 11 here to Thoughtseize. I mean, we are, but... <sighs> Snap, Cryptic, Gideon, Blessed Alliance. I don't care about your Blessed Alliance. Yeah, he just reminds me of that guy who's like, I'm going to keep saying stuff. And then, like, you call them out and you're like, hey, man, look, it's not really cool. Like, no one's really appreciating your sense of humor. You're not funny. Like, no one likes when you do this. But they don't actually, like, they can't internally, like, manifest that as, as constructive criticism to improve. And instead, they kind of just double down on it. And they're like, I mean, I don't, you, maybe you don't like it. I, don't, I like it. And then you're just like, okay. I can see you don't want to have this learning moment where you can improve yourself and be more uh, be more presentable to other human beings. So it is what it is. You know, like, okay, I understand. Hey, we didn't make our opponent keep a one-land hand. And also, we're not doing much either, so... I mean, we're just going to keep cracking these lands. Look at this. The first time in my life I'm going to Thought Scour myself. <gasps> what a what a good hit. All right. Well, they're 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 ho they're honing in on cryptic command mana. Fatal push. See, I would have rather had either of these. So long, damnation. Jace the Mind Sculptor. That guy's better than all. So they didn't play Gideon. I'm confused. All right, so you have Cryptic Command and one other card. So where you bounce Liliana end of turn? I could see that. Yeah, it's fine. You have to virtually break up with them every tournament to get them to go away. Wow, that's like the perfect... That's such a good description. Well, like, I don't want to... I don't want to alienate people from my stream. And I also try to be... Perfect fits. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. That might be really loud, so I apologize if it is. We're not going to play Tasker here because then they can just use Colony to kill Liliana. And I don't feel like that. Why didn't they logic not the Liliana? I don't understand what's going on here. 
That that is probably real loud, guys. I'm sorry. What do you mean draft allowed? Like the guys is like, oh my god, I can't believe this was bad. Well, I'm taking this. Guys, you should you'll never believe what I just got. Like that guy? Because that guy's something else. I'm gonna aim this microphone more this way so maybe it doesn't pick up as much. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> One replica air show. <laughs> Oh, that's gas. So we can just make them discard their last card? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Never getting any of you back. Oh, bouncy or Tassiger. We didn't want to activate because if they try to kill Liliana, like. One, don't care about Inquisition, only on number two, you, you, and one fatal push is fine. Three, four. Telling time. Interesting. Did some Dom Joss yesterday and I potted this guy every time. I've seen rude and noxious guys draft for this guy. I was just almost saying every card that got... What? Like... There, there's these... They, like, people like that are weird because they just... It's, it's very obvious that they're craving attention. They just give me like a thought Caesar and Inquisition, which is kind of sad. So next turn they can actually activate. So I'm pretty sure we're just going to separate their stuff into two piles. This seems pretty busted here. We'll give them Jace as Kanta and like a Colonnade in one pile. What's Ariel? Ariel. What's Ariel? Do you mean Lyra? Is that your way of saying Lyra? And you're just, you juxtaposed all the letters together? What's an R-E, what, A-R-Y-E-L? Knight of Wind Grace, what the hell card is this? Oh yeah, that card's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that card's pretty good. Wow, this is what they kept, huh? Well, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Get rid of thought sees. <clears throat> Fatal Push and Serum Visions. Are you going to bounce me, Tassie Molassi, again? Yep, alright. <clears throat> Didn't think so. Now we get to actually activate Tasker, which is pretty good. Man, it seemed it almost seems to me like Liliana was more powerful than Jace in this matchup, but I don't know. This is what I get for uh playing Magic the Gathering while while I have yard work happening. Oh, give me give me a mana leak, that's what you're gonna give me. Even though it counters literally every card in your deck right now. Jace is too it's just broken. Oh, Hero's Downfall. We'll start with this guy. Path to Exile, huh? One, two, three, four. Deal. One, two, three, activate. I hate doing this because we can just actually kill it with the uh, with the tar pit, but this lets us play Jace too. Um, do we play a land this turn? Sweet Topham's, Topham's McDeckums to you. Alright, let's start closing this game out. I've attritioned you for long enough, good sir. I guess we'll see what they draw. Off of Ezkanta. Terminus. Okay. Deal. That'll do. All right. Well, Disdainful Stroke, Counter Squall, Counter Squall, Heroes Downfall all come in. They have multiple Planeswalkers. Damnations can come out. We'll bring out. We'll take out two Fatal Push because you do a Field of Ruin, and uh, they are good against um, Colonnades. I'd like to find room for this Liliana too. I guess we can take out Go for the Throat. Everything else seems good. Yeah, seems fine. Uh, the problem with sequencing better is that if we don't hit a land... I mean, we could yeah, we could have tried to do that anyway. But if we don't hit a land, we still have the hero's downfall. One mana discard spell right off the top. Well... I accept that. I do want to get a watery grave here just because I want I don't want to have to worry about hitting too too black. I got another watery grave. Alright. Um I actually want both of these. We have three mana, but we have we can do everything with this. Yeah, both of these are fine. Like they have an abundance of planeswalkers, so.
Well, I mean, it's it's more than one leaf. There's a, actually a ton of leaves out there. He's going to get it, though. I believe in him. How much do I charge per leaf? Depends on, uh, wait, wait. I'm not the one charging them. Did they miss a land drop? Oh, baby. Well, we're going to pass, and at your end step, we're going to actually play a Vendillion Click to maybe tap you out. Oh, God, they're so good at this game. Hello. Stubborn Leaf is the first single from the album by my heavy metal band, The Weed Whackers. Wow. Cryptic Command, and I'll draw a card. Sure. They have seven cards. This feels like the stronger Liliana here. Gideon's a scary dude. You got it. And we can downfall this guy and play second Liliana. That's pretty good. Oh, give me one second, guys. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Had to go. Had to go pay pay the lawn people. All right. So A lot of options here. We can Thoughtseize, Snapcast, or Thoughtseize, depending on what they have, but then I'm worried about this guy. <laughs> He's not going to the bathroom or refilling his drink. That's true. Those were lies. Did I miss anything? I don't think we have to play Liliana here. I think we can just play this. Yeah, see, this hand is scary.
This is a 4 4, right? All right, so we also have Snapcaster into Mana Leak, so that's a thing. So we can go Snapcaster, counter any of these things. We don't care about Supreme Verdict or Path. Those are not relevant. I think we just pass because Liliana can survive a turn. If we play our Liliana, like... That's not good. They just get the resolve either Gideon or Elspeth. Yeah, we could snap Hero's Downfall. The problem is, actually... Yeah, we can do this, and then they can play whatever. They can play Gideon. And actually, this puts us... This, like, our Elspeth is actually pretty threatening here. Yep, that's the other Gideon that we knew about. Gideon gone. Oh, wow, that was a great draw. This deck has everything you want. <laughs> All right, so we know they have Supreme Serum Path. Don't care about any of those cards. Oh, are we gonna Liliana here? Man, Gideon's for days. Give me something good. All right, so Serum Visions is gone. We know you have Supreme Path and whatever you drew. It's actually pretty exciting because now I just want more lands and less. <laughs> oh my god, we're so good at this game. Yeah, this should be the end of the game. <clears throat> Mono Liliana's dot deck. So you have one card in hand, Liliana Ultimate's next turn. <laughs> Gets an ultimate Liliana in modern, boy? I has a sad. Ah, oh boy. Well, it's a good one. It's less of a good one. I mean, we're going to split where it's Glacial, Detention, Search, and... Burp, 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 burp. I almost started humming the theme again. I couldn't do it. I have to stop. I drew another Detention Sphere. That's fine. My God. Guys, she was on seven. They had to literally top deck a detention sphere. It had to be off the top of their deck. Okay, they have no cards now. Oh, I overpaid. And this is fine because don't you actually just get to don't we just make you discard it with Liliana? Okay. You either discard that or you discard what you draw.
Oh, that was it done. I'm just cracking my lands because I really don't want to be drawing. I just want to minimize my chance of drawing lands here. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate because it's a good card. Oh, no, it's not. We just make them separate. God, ultimately Liliana. Woo! Sure. We're just going to go Detention Sphere, uh, Hollowed Fountain, Glacial Fortress, I think. I don't feel like you can win with two lands at the Tension Sphere. Do we just get back Vendillion Click? <laughs> nah, we can plus for now. I want to live that Liliana dream. We got to watch our time, too, because we're in game two and... Finally. No. I mean, they're going to activate their Field of Ruin. Might as well make them do it now. They have no cards in hand. Get out of my face, bug. And that'll do it. What have we withdrawn? Search, Flooded Strand, Mana Leak. Mana Leak's probably good enough here. All right. So we only lost the burn so far. That deck seems great. I feel like I want to play Blue Light Control in every modern event ever because it's very good. Uh oh, the leaf blowers are back. How do you beat Burn? Any sideboard changes? That's what we're trying to figure out. We're not there yet. Uh, I mentioned Moment of Craving and Collective Brutality. I think we're going to mulligan this hand. Yeah, this hand seems significantly better. I'll keep you. No. Oh god, it sounds it sounds real loud where I am. Hopefully it's not as loud for you guys. <clears throat> I 
It probably is. More like Boreal, am I right? Okay, good. Glad it's not that bad. Glad, glad you guys think it's, I don't think it's that bad. That's fine. All these idiots are fine. That guy, not so fine. Aggressive. Drowned catacomb. <sighs> All right, don't let the elves scare you. Just do what you do. Kill this idiot. And now they're going to play an Azuri or something else. We can hear us downfall it once it comes down. Just a Vodru, okay. Damnation. Oh, we knew it was going to be Drawn Catacomb. <laughs> Dwinnin's Elite. No, you can have it, Dwinnin's Elite. Company, uh, we're actually hoping to hit a damnation off of this Jace. We have our fingers crossed. Oh, do they only hit one with a? Oh, that's good because he can actually hear us downfall. That guy. So we know you have elite in hand. Coming at Jace too. Damnation. What in damnation? Regenerate another elf. I don't care which one. Anyone, you pick one. God, I wish there was a more efficient way to stream without without the leaf blowers. But at least they're doing they're doing good work. You know, they're working hard. None of these are damnations. All right, so we're going to go Tassiger. We want to play a land. We're going to put one back. I guess we want to see what you have. Tassiger Thoughtsies. Land. Well, they're in top deck mode. We lose a Jace, but we get to eat some guys, so that's pretty good. No beats. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Jace, I hardly knew you. I'll miss you all the time. Now it's going to be a damnation. Actually, we know what it's going to be, right? It's going to be an island? No, it's going to be Snapcaster. We knew. Do we win this race? Maybe. Boy. 
boom, ba, boom, boom. I was gonna do it again. God, I need to get that song out of my head. Yeah, that's not good. One, two, one, two. Yeah, we can do this. It feels like it's real loud right now. I'm so sorry, guys. Flashback. Cast flashback. I like getting back any of these cards, actually, which is why you when you when you delve with Tasker, you really want to pick the cards that you want back the most and save those. Like, we got rid of Thoughtseize and Mana Lake because they're not very good, and I don't want them to have the option of giving them back. So now they have a tough choice of Heroes Downfall, Fatal Push, Serum Vision, or Jace. Hey, V click, huh? I don't know if I like either of these, to be quite honest. I don't think I care about drawing either of these cards. Liliana doesn't seem great, neither does Creeping Tar Pit here. I can't make it not weird, so I type this. Still weird. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. I will take two. That's not better. Oh, a Liliana and a search for Azkanta. pretty good I mean we're probably going to have Vendillion click during their upkeep or during their draw step brother and fingers crossed it is not a collected company number three okay you can have your windswept teeth I was like, hmm, getting aggressive here. All right. This is a free card every turn. Ooh, Cryptic Command? Give me that. They'll never give me that. They're like, huh, I'll show you. I'll crack my land as well. Okay, a fair play. Eh, we're not going to take two here. Three fatal push. It's pretty good. Bottom. I'll keep another fatal push. The problem is if they top deck Azuri, it's pretty bad. It's less bad now because they only have one attacker, so. And we can actually not play Search here because it doesn't do anything for us because we know we're going to draw Fatal Push, so keeping Fatal Push up is just better. Do they play the bad Overrun card in the Elves deck? They play Zuri, which is basically an Overrun, and he's not bad at all. He's actually very, very good.
They're going to be thought scour. <laughs> it's a sad day when, as the elf deck, you have, uh, well, as the, as the blue black deck, you have more, more cards you want to keep on board than the elf deck. So you have to block here. I don't want a damnation because I'll kill all my blue black creatures. Said that said the blue black guy to the elf to the elf player. Um go for the throat and come in. Cast down. I like cast down. I wish I could kill Azuri. I think it's still good enough. Cut one mana leak. Damnation's still very good. I also feel like this is a good matchup. I want to take both Thought Scours out. I'll bring in a Counter Squall just because I do want to have an answer to uh, Collected Company. I feel like that's better than Disdainful Stroke. They're both only going to counter Collected Company, but I guess Hero's Downfalls might be better. Where's the Lily? Why is she down there? Yeah, I actually do like that Lily better. I forgot about that Lily. She was not visible to me. Kalidus is probably good as well, yes. No, there's no way Kalidus... No way is Kalidus too slow. No no, no possible way. Overwhelming Stampede? No way. They just play Tassel. They just play Azuri. Hmm... Jay Sizzle, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. Really appreciate the the continued support. Hmm. Gotta make one cut here. We can cut a Jace, actually. Jace is kind of slow. Uh, this hand is good. I will keep it. Oh, they went to five? Ooh, not looking great for the elf deck. They went to four? They went to three? Because they played a land? And that is a colorless land. This might be the rare situation where I go get a watery grave into a thought seize against the elf deck. I don't think it is, though. Oof. I'm just going to take Azuri. It's like the one of the few threats that we actually care about. And it can't be killed by cast down, whereas everything else can be, so. Plus they need, they, they, oh wow, that was a good draw. Made the barber cut my hair with my phone in my lap. <laughs> oh, Lord. That is fantastic. I'm going to actually just take your, your heritage druid. Uh, I don't care about you because we already have one. I do like you. And next to we can kill one of your devoted druids. So. Okay. I just have to kill everything, right? I leave you with three mana. You can't collect a company. You have no cards in hand. Perfect. And now we can Liliana make sure we get rid of this elf too. Anymore? <laughs> no, I think that does it. 
A lot of gas here. And us with only a Liliana on board. I mean, we can get rid of one mana leak. They have no cards in hand, but we don't either. So, like, the top deck wars are real. Yeah, that goes. Whatever. This is Liliana's fate against the, the elf deck. <clears throat> She get she did enough work. Well, I don't want to let them build a board and then damnation. This is cryptic command, not damnation. I meant to do this at the end of their turn. Oh, they drew a collected company. I had a feeling because they paused when we cracked our land. I'm not going to waste this because this, this counters very few things right now at this point in the game. If they go land Azuri, land Elvish Archer, like we just can't actually... I don't actually want this to resolve, surprisingly. Shuts down our Tassigers and all our Snapcaster Mages, which is pretty bad for us. Yeah, that's pretty good. Jace? Flooded Strand. Oh! They drew a collected company? Come on. Come on. That's pretty good. One, two, Inquisition, Thoughtseize. Let's get rid of Mana Leak. Let's actually get rid of all the things that we care about. All right, so we want to get rid of Mana Leak, Mana Leak, Inquisition, Thoughtseize, and probably Serum Visions too. Go for the throat and Snapcaster. Both are pretty good. You just give us Cryptic Command. <laughs> uh, we, we didn't click ourselves because that's not how click works. <laughs> deal <laughs> if they want to spend their whole turn activating this guy uh, that's fine I'll just take five or kill Liliana and we can activate Tasker and play every anything
True Dawn FM, thanks for the host. Really appreciate it. Going to Lily? Yeah, Tasker is much more valuable. You can have you can have Lily. Thankfully, like all the cards in our graveyard are very good. <laughs> God, our deck is so good. See, this is why we don't play like dirtily dirtily sideboard cards that are super narrow like Damping Sphere. <laughs> Who needs that? I just want counter spells. Hmm. Oh, wow. So they have to go Snapcast through Lily, Snap... They probably just give a second Liliana, right? Really? I don't want to discard a card here. No, it's a good sideboard card. I just don't think it's great against us. Like... Like, this deck plays, like, two cards a turn. Maybe, maybe we'll play two spells a turn. And, like, so you make one of my spells cost one more mana. Yeah, I have no desire to Snapcaster here. Like, you gave me a Cryptic Command back? That's ma that's maniacal, my friend. Now you're dead, though, because you have you get one card, and I just get to keep up Cryptic Command. Oh, I think Damping Sphere is a great sideboard card. Like I said, just not in this deck. 3-2 Dream, still alive. Let's do it. Pessimistic Pingu, what's going on? If you play all above average cards... Can't draw below average cards if you don't put them in your deck. Think about it. Is there a list somewhere? Maybe. Maybe we can find one for you. Uh, so I like that I so I abbreviate my deck lists based on format and then the then the set so uh, for for this deck it's mod for modern and then dom for dominary because then I know what the most recent set is or how up to date the deck is so if this is like an Ixalan deck I'd be like oh probably hasn't been updated for a while so it's just a way for me to like keep track of things and um, it's funny because mod and dom are just uh, backwards they're just the same it's the same word Uh, Josh, this is something someone uh, had me critique. Uh, Scott H., which is who, who is Dalkery in the chat, uh, who is who just said something right now. He is the one who commissioned this deck uh, for us to take a look at. And uh, if you guys are interested in having me do that to your own deck, check out my Twitch profile. I have information on how to do that as well. And it's a great way to support the stream and also get some feedback if you're looking for uh, some deck feedback. I will keep this hand. It is weird seeing blue black without like you're like where's the scarab god? I don't understand. Interesting. That's a little chicken. Counter this. I dare you. Oh, you didn't counter it. I'll put other Jace on the bottom and then this one on top. Why don't you counter my spell with your chicken? What a beautiful bird. So they could crew this next turn, and we can try to Fatal Push, or we can Inquisition here. We can't do both, though, because if we... Once we Fatal Push... If we Inquisition and then Fatal Push, they're just going to counter the Fatal Push. Which is bad.
You could just play Inquisition. The problem is if they have any other creature, it's bad. If they have a Thalia, it's bad. God, I really want to get rid of the stupid bird. I like Fatal Push Bird and then Inquisition. Like, we can't play around with him. We can actually try to make sure they don't have a dude in their hand, I guess. Watch them, watch them sacrifice it. I'll counter your spell, unless you pay one. Yeah, obviously. That's cute. <laughs> I won't pay it. I refuse. Path and Flicker Wisp. I don't care about Path. This hand is actually pretty mediocre, so that's good. I'm a fan of what's happening right now. All right, I think the I think the leaf blowing has subsided, so that's good. All right, planes is out. Imagine I'll get rid of Path. Yep. All right, so we only have Resto in hand. What's it going to be? Did you hit that fourth land? Oh, he hit a bird. Oh, that guy. Your favorite and mine. I'll crew my copter. I think the long guy won, but it's hard to tell. I haven't looked out the window yet, so... Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I see. You're just going to kill my land. Yeah. Always a, pl always a pleasure, Death and Taxes deck. God, we know you have rest, though. None of these cards are very good. So we're going to get rid of your resto, and we're going to get rid of our stupid Thought Scour. Let's remember not to crack this, because that's a grave error. Next time we're going to Snapcaster... Fatal push and right, they discard resto though, which is uh, yeah, that's why I mean I don't care. Get to the chopper. Don't draw a creature. I literally said don't draw a creature, and then you draw a creature. I don't understand. Why wouldn't you just listen? <laughs> Sorry, that got dark. Ah, it's okay. It happens. What are you going to do? Fatal push again? Snapcaster? Getting close. Oh, yeah, one more. Oof. Oh, boy. Whoo, boy. Well, this match could be going better. I don't understand the point of looting when you don't have any cards in your hand. This is worse now. 
We're going to go to the next game. Take out a Jace. Bring in a go for the throat. Take out the thought scours because I don't like you. Bring in a cast down. Bring in a Liliana. Kalidus is good for some, some life gain. I like that. I don't actually love Vendillion Click here. I'd rather have like Counter Squall for their uh, Smuggler's Copters, especially on the play. I personally don't like Thought Scour. I'm not a Thought Scour fan. Zacharias Finley, thank you so much for the, the Patreon uh, pledge. Really appreciate it. If uh, you're in the chat, I'm not sure, but thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I like Rejection actually better, but the, the problem, here's the problem with Rejection, is like this counters Path Exile as well and also counters, I don't know, something else. Is it just Hero's Downfall? I don't know if Hero's Downfall is better. It probably is. I'm not a big Liliana fan, to be quite honest. The thing I hate more than anything in this deck is the um, the Leon and Arbiters. I'll keep this hand. God, they'll go to 15, huh? A classic. What up, FD Territory? I don't care about you. Lean and Arbiter is probably the most obnoxious thing you have, so... Easy choice there. And a cutie bird. And a planes. Deal. These birds make it real hard to damnation. What in damnation? They can't play both cards because of the stupid tech edge. So that's pretty good. Josiah Van Sigle, thank Josh, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. Wow. That's a lot. Um, I'm going to mana leak your bird because... The odds of us mana leaking anything else effectively when you have this in hand is pretty low. You can sacrifice this bird. Yeah, okay. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Oh, good times. What do you think about Lily in the main? She gives you a fighting chance. Like, I actually like one Lily in the main. I could see that. I could see that. Josh, that is awesome, dude. If you, uh, yeah, get a get a hold of me. You know my email, so we can we can chat about the uh, the once a month thing. All right. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, we can play land. Everything's happening. I think we're just gonna heroes downfall or fatal fatal fatal, fatal push the uh, the man. Maybe heroes downfall. Fatal push kills everything in their deck. Heroes downfall costs three. So. And if we're literally trying to kill the the judges familiar, then both of these are gonna do it. Yes, no, I will not. Why why are we doing this every time? <laughs> Come on. Just stop it. I feel like this is a, a favorable time to damnation here. We could bounce this, but then we don't get to do anything. Three, four. So we can plus Jace for five and it dies. We can bounce this and it dies. Brainstorming it dies. So we just have to damnation here. 
it's kind of like a two for one. It's a three. It's three cards for one, even though two of their cards are free. So it's kind of like a one for one, right? Thraben Inspector replaced itself. Blade Splicer was only one card. <laughs> oh, this deck is so dumb, dude. Joke's on you. I got a swamp. Really? Is that better than just... Oh, it's not... Is it non-basic? Alright, we don't have a swamp. I lied. Oh, look at that stupid bird, man. Whatever, we're taking two so we can kill the bird, and then we can play Jace. Oh, God. This guy should read the cards, am I right? It's an instant sorcery. Dear God. Everything's terrible. I don't know what any of these cards do, man. Who knows that? Why do people know that? We could have had a Jace down there for free. That's going to cost us. I didn't know it was Instant or Sorcerer. I thought it was just Counter Target Non Creature Spell. Um, you know what? I'm going to pay the one this time. No, I'm not. We're going to actually kill your Horizon Canopy. Oh, look at that. All right. You get a green. Sure. Oh, wow. Such usefulness. Um, I almost want to just thought seize here, actually. Yep, that's pretty okay. So we now have a planes in hand. That's pretty good. Not my Jace. What can we do here? Pretty much anything we want. Fatal Push, Damnation, Heroes Downfall, Mana Leak. Yeah, okay. No Cryptic Command, but I accept that. Did you literally draw a two drop? <laughs> wow. This is very impressive. Whoa, that was loud. Matthew Lowen, thank you so much for, this, for the patron. Really appreciate it. Um, Fatal Push. Try not to forget what's going on here. If I try and kill this guy. Got him. That was very loud. I apologize for the, the volume level there. <clears throat> Alright, so we're both in top tech mode, but I have a Jace the Mind Sculptor, so it feels better. Oh, they didn't attack. Interesting. Fresh draws. Oh, that's pretty good. Nope. Black. Oh, all right. Kalidus and Snapcaster and killing yourself with spirit wins us the game. Seems good. 
Yeah, Kalidus is a pretty good card. Um, I feel like Click is weak in this matchup. God, I really hate Leon and Arbor. Card is obnoxious. I'm going to bring in one, one Ceremony Subjection for one Click. That feels better. Here's what I'm burning now. Frank Figurine Joyce needs to drop some legendary sorceries. All right, I'm going to open it up. Yeah, this hand's rough, but I'll keep it. Uh, gross. I don't think we're winning this match. I think we're 3 2 in here. The worst land to start on, but <laughs> the Vendillion click. <sighs> it's just too expensive to have a second one. We already have two three mana spells. I can't foresee us getting to turn three and going heroes downfall, heroes downfall. That seems ambitious. Oh, wow, that's pretty bad. Unless we can top deck Fatal Push. It's actually pretty good, but not yet. Casual Calamity, what's going on? Okay. Fatal push. It's not a fatal push still. Okay. I actually don't even want to take the two to... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. We got a 14 here. Or uh, rather, we got a nine. It's not very good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Yep, this is a good run here. I mean, they can wipe my... They, they can't... Like, they can't... We, we, we'd be able to play a fourth land and tap it. Like, it's not like we can't play Liliana. It just doesn't do anything here. Even if we kill this, they crew with this, and they we take three, four, six, seven, and go to two... And the problem is, like, we're going to one because we're cracking a fetch land. So. It's pretty brutal. Three, four, five, six, seven. We got a one here. Yeah, this was a pretty brutal matchup. I don't know if Downfall First is actually better. Yeah, the problem is, like, we want to turn Thalia off as soon as possible because next turn we could potentially play two spells, but... And we've got a one here, so it's not great. Also, the other problem is that if we... So here's the other thing. If we Heroes Downfall First, they have the luxury of killing one of our lands and then our Flooded Strand... Uh, we have to crack another fetch land in order to get a fourth land for Liliana because Thalia would not be dead. Um, this is, I think this is the end. <sighs> Crew here, we have to deal with two, three, just cute. I just don't have the three twos to deal with it. We can activate and block just not enough to do it. All right. Unfortunately, 3-2. But uh, still reasonable. Um, so clearly we had problems against the aggressive decks, right? That was where our... That was where our problem lied. Let's see what we got in that treasure chest. Oh, a Colossal Dreadmaw and a Painful Lessons. Wow, that is a valuable treasure chest. Okay. It's more like a shit chest. <laughs> what does that mean? All right, so... Um, 
I love the hero's downfall. I'm not a big Thought Scar fan. I, I I don't know if I've mentioned that before. Have I mentioned that about Thought Scar? I don't know if I'm a big Thought Scar fan. How often do you open a good chest? Rarely. Rarely. Uh, I'm going to take out Thought Scars. Um, so one thing we had problems with was aggressive creature strategies, right? The chest with the Ragavan avatar was surprisingly good. It's redefined my magic avatar, so that's pretty good. Um, what? I I think Collective Brutality is just way too good to not have at least a one of in the deck. Shao Kahn, have a good, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I feel like Collective Brutality... Like, we have four Fatal Push. We have two Heroes Downfall. We have two Go for the Throats. I don't think we need Cast Down. I think it's cool because it's a new card, but I think Collective Brutality is just a little bit more versatile. And we can just do without that. Like, there's very few things that Go for the Throat kill, doesn't kill um, that, that Cast Down would. Right? Like, unless you're playing against Affinity, right? But in that case, you already have three Ceremonious Rejections, and all the other stuff kills it anyway. Fatal Pushes, um, Collective Brutality, and Hero's Downfall are all doing work. Liliana's doing work as well. Um, uh, I don't like I don't like Engineering Explosives in decks that can only do two colors. If you want to splash for a third color, like a Steam Vents or a... Um, a hollowed fountain, for example, I would I would love going engineered explosives. I don't think it's good when you can only do it for one or two. Uh, I do like the damnations in the main deck. I think it's a great card, uh, especially in this environment. Um, I don't think you need drown in sorrow per se because if you look at the previous board, they still would have got to keep. Um, they still would have got to keep the three three golem, and they still would have gotten to keep the smuggler's copter. Right, so the only things we would have gotten rid of with with drown and sorrow, or like a negative two negative two effect, would have been a one two and the one one blade splicer, uh, Leon and arbiters as well. But we don't really have problem with one for one creatures. This this deck is great against one for ones. Um, similarly, against the burn deck, which is the other deck we had problems with, Drown and Sorrow doesn't really do much there either. Like, if they're going to get the aggressive multiple creature draw, usually you can deal with it. The, the problem is usually the burn spells. Uh, ascend, ascend, ascend checks. If you have a card that has Ascend, it is a static ability. It will always be checking. But... Uh, I don't know if you do want another damnation on the sideboard. Like, it, look at like look at the two matches we lost against, right? Like, we didn't have the mana to actually cast damnation when it mattered against uh, against the Death and Taxes deck because they just they they thalied us. They have uh, judges familiar stuff like that. I also don't think that's a huge part of the meta game, so I wouldn't be too concerned about that. The burn deck is what I'm really concerned with, and I think the collective brutalities are going to help a little bit. But is there a way to gain life? Like, efficiently. Like, is there an efficient life gain card in black or blue? That's my question. I think V-Clicks actually did work. I would cut down to one, though. Um, the problem is they're legendary. I don't want to draw multiple V-Clicks. I guess that's actually fine. That's just me trying to... That's just me not loving Vendillion Click, but trying to, like... You know. I don't know. I'm going to look up... No, I can't look up life gain. I can't look up life gain in modern because like a million things will show up. I think Kalidus is fine in the burn matchup, but he is a little slow. Like, you know, usually I think... Yeah, that's why I like the brutality. That's why I think one brutality in the main and one in the side is great. Um, I, I think we could add another brutality to the sideboard. I think the card is good enough. Um, I don't know if I love Surgical Extraction, but I think it's fine. I think we have Surgical and Nihil Spellbomb. That's a lot of graveyard stuff. I just never know what I want to board in Surgical Extraction against. I'm going to take out one Surgical Extraction, I think. I think that's fine. I think the... Honestly, I think the main deck is great. Um, I like Damnation, Cryptic, and Jace. I think the one Tasker was very, very useful. I like Gifted Aetherborn a lot, actually. I don't think double black is actually that rough. Let's look at all our double black our, our black sources of mana. These, presuming we can get watery graves. Like we have 19 sources of black mana in the deck. Um the problem with Aether Sphere Harvester is that we have literally four creatures that can crew it. 
Um, so that's pretty rough. I can see two, two J's being correct. I don't know what to. I don't know what we put in the sideboard for. Um, for gifted Aetherborns, though. Uh, I think Gopher the Throat is significantly better than than Cast Down. Like it doesn't kill Vendillion Click. It doesn't kill Tassiger. Um, you know, there's there's very few artifact creatures outside of Affinity um, that you can't kill with a Cast Down. That you can kill with a Cast Down. But there are very very relevant legendary creatures in modern that you can't kill with a cast down i don't want to play it's you don't you don't want to just play cast down just because it's new you want to be like hey it's a new new two mana removal spell it's instant let's play that like i don't think it's actually better thrun thrun you can kill a thrun with a, with a go for the throat right thalia like you don't want to have cast down against a thalia right like there's so many legendary creatures that you just can't kill like I think the one perk is that you can't go for the throat a, a golem token off of a blade splicer. But otherwise, like, I think we can probably go down to two Jaces. I think this is a lot of four drops. Um, what if we did put in one? I don't know if three mana Jace doesn't protect himself very well. I mean, Liliana is great all the time. I don't really think Lily. No, I mean, like you're always playing all, all the all the blue black decks are playing Liliana and counter spells. Like those aren't really. You get to you get once you get to five mana, you can mana leak in Liliana. You can play Liliana next turn counter spell something. Like it's not like you're not gonna have to wait for some like perfect situation where. Also, you counter spell on two and four. You don't counter spell on three. I mean, you could, but like there's there's no real reason you can't play Lilianas with with mana leaks. That's just really really restrictive. We have two slots here. One from the uh, one from the from from the Jace, and I agree with discarding good cards too often. I actually want to cut one of these Lilianas and bring in this Liliana of the the Last Hope. I think that she's just better. I do kind of like one. I was thinking one gifted Aetherborn, like one and one. I don't think we need Agony Warp. Like, I think Collective Brutality and Fatal Push, I think those cards are just better. I do like, don't get me wrong though, Josh, I do like Agony Warp as a card. Um, I actually would kind of like to see one Gifted Aetherborn in both the sideboard and the main deck to see how they do. Like, if you can just mize a Gifted Aetherborn against Burn, it's pretty good. You gotta stop saying main board. That's not a real thing. There's no such thing as a main board. I could actually see like shifting this guy to the sideboard because it's it's only good in certain matchups, whereas collective brutality is probably good all the time. But I don't know if you want two two of those in the main deck. Um, there's got to be something, right? I could see another go for the throat. I think go for the throat is probably better than the second collective brutality in the main deck. It just dies through all their spells, though. Yes, that's how creatures work, unfortunately. I do like one spell, Skite. How do we still have two slots? Didn't we add one Liliana? Did we take something else out? My god. We took one. Oh, we switched. We was an even switch. Actually, we have space for two now. I don't like it. I don't like the first as. I mean, the first as content is good, but I never want to have more than one. Like, you're talking about giving up Liliana's because discarding good cards, but then... Uh, then we want a second search for Azkanta. Mm. No, don't worry about it, guys. Um, I actually, I don't, I don't seriously mind that you guys call it main board. It's just a pet peeve of mine um, because I edited magic articles for seven years. So uh, I'm a stickler for like the official branding. Uh, that's why I always call it commander instead of EDH. I call it main deck instead of main board. Um, so that's just me. I'm not, I, I, I'm not taking offense or, uh, or really minding. Um. Yeah, it does seem like we're losing millions of frames. Hmm. God, I like that we get two free cards here. It's pretty nice. 
Logic Coot? Wow, that's a thing. Hmm. Uh, ultimate Price is worse. There are far more gold cards in this format. You, you don't want to be pairing against like five color humans playing uh, Ultimate Price when you can just play Go for the Throat. Dark Confidant seems a little scary with these. With Anything up here is pretty pretty scary for Dark Confidant territory. This is a deck where I'd almost rather have Phyrexian Arena, to be quite honest with you. I'm really considering Jace Bellerin. Or even Jace Verdin's Prodigy. I wonder if that's good. The problem is turning on their removal, right? I feel like we're taking a while, but I want to give this... I want to give this a lot of thought. So... I do like a Force Serum Visions a lot, actually. This card is just fine. Like, I, this is this is just a great... Serum Visions is just great in this format. I, I don't... That seems like it goes without saying. I don't know why I'm so... Uh, so explanatory about that. Guys, let's talk about the merits of Serum Visions here. So there's 16 cards in the side where we should probably move. I also took out the second... Ta Where's... Is there a second Tassiger? There's only one Tassiger here. We get one card here, and we have one too many cards over here. I mean, I think Ceremonious Rejection is great, especially against Tron and Affinity plus things like that. I mean, if we bring in Gifted Aetherborn and we have Phyrexian Arena, we might as well just bring in Grey Merchant, right? Because then we're just playing... Uh... I have an idea. Can we play one Obnixilus in the deck? as like our one five drop. I actually like that a lot. It's a removal spell. It's a great late game card. Maybe I'm being greedy. I don't know if this is greedy, but I kind of like it. Yeah, I like one ob a lot here. Um, I'm gonna cut, what, what do we cut from the side? I think it's either uh, Heroes Down, Go For The Throat or Heroes Downfall. I think it's probably go for the throat. Like, Hero's Downfall is versatile because it kills Planeswalkers in a post-Jace world. And we have we have go for the throat abilities. We have four Fatal Push, two Collective Brutality, and a go for the throat, and two Hero's Downfalls, plus not to mention the Lilianas and the Ob. Um, I do like Batter Skull. That's actually a great card. That'll gain you some life. Maybe. Yeah, instead of the Gifted Aetherborn, let's add a Batter Skull to the sideboard. That seems interesting. And we can add like one land in case we want to like... And we can also Vendillion click to make sure the coast is clear for Ob, which is really nice. Go for the, and this is all the stuff that shows up. Wow. I guess we're going to have to name throw it. All right. And I want to put and go for the throat in the sideboard back. Um, I think this is probably the deck. I would definitely try this deck out. Like, this deck looks awesome. I like the Obnixilis. I like the Liliana of the Last Hope in the main deck over the triple Lilianas of the Veil. Um, even though Liliana did do a lot of work for us, I think two is still fine. You get you go, you go through a lot of cards in this deck, which is great. I, I, I want to stay at one Search for Escanta because I don't want to draw multiples. Unlike Liliana, like, you can't go Search for Escanta, replay one Search for Escanta. Um, I think... Batter Skull is better than Wormcoil because it comes down sooner. And you can't... Like, if you path to exile the worm, the germ token, you still get uh, value. Well, yeah, Batter Skull is questionable with K-Command, but you're not bringing it in against Cryptic Command... Kologon's Command decks. That's why it's in the sideboard. Like, I mean, I'm not bringing, I'm not bringing it in against Rixus. I'm bringing it in against uh, either the white decks that, that are aggressive or the burn decks that don't have access to... Um, that don't have access to Kologon's Command and also aren't bringing in their destructive revelries against our deck that has nothing in the main deck to target with it. So, um, yeah, otherwise, um, really appreciate you guys hanging out. And uh, I, I'm not leaving the stream, actually, so I'm just going to end the video. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys are interested in having your own deck critiqued, be sure to check out my Twitch profile. I have information on how to do that. Or you can check out Patreon at patreon.com slash franklapore to find out how to support me there. Both of those links are in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.